Margaret Cahirnock, uh, Ministry, you're very welcome to the House. Um, can I just begin uh, by, by referencing an article in the Irish Examiner uh, on the 12th of September by Kathleen Griffin? And maybe members of the House might like to just listen to this, this statistic. 1,346 cases of COVID confirmed, as experts says, mask wearing is needed in primary schools. That was in September. And the one thing we've learned, this pandemic, this virus, as the Minister said, has a trajectory all of its own. And I, I like Senator Gorgon on a personal level, uh, and, I, and I really do. But what we listen to here in this House today is absolutely appalling. It's appalling. We are legislators, members of the Oireachtas, parliamentarians who are entitled to have our views and to interrogate government and opposition about legislation. But let's do it based on science and based on fact. And I would ask members, in the use of language that we have around this pandemic, to be careful and to be cognizant of the science and the facts. And the fundamental thing that we're all charged with, and the man sitting at the top of this chamber, is the Minister for Health. He's taken a, a seal of office, and as part of that is to protect the public health of our, of our nation. And to distill that down, that is the citizens of our country. And whatever else we do, and we can disagree on lots of things, and Senator Clifford Lee is correct, Nobody in government today wants to come in here with a piece of legislation, again, asking demands of the Irish people. Nobody. And I've had the privilege of being in this house and the, the lower house for 14 years. We've been through bank guarantees, we've been through tumultuous times in social legislation, in the economy, and in this pandemic. And I think I can say that we all serve with one objective, to serve the people and to do good. And that's why we're here today. And that's what we're about. And the vaccine program has worked. Can you imagine if we had no vaccine program, what would have happened? And Senator Gorgon should cast her mind and others to the world we live in today and the, the reimposition of restrictions uh, and the reintroduction of social distancing, of mask wearing uh, in many parts of the world. And the challenge we face is the wider world, how we can vaccinate those in the developing world who are being left behind. And Minister, there's a job of work for government in terms of the vaccination programme around the world, and in particular in the continent of Africa, that we must be proactive in not just words, but in our deeds. And to be fair to Minister Brophy, uh, he has done work and is doing work, and that has as the government. But we must ensure that Ireland leads in that regard. Minister, in, 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 in your speech to us today, you make reference to members of Angardi Shikona uh, and the need to, 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 to um, to continue with the, the, the legislation under the criminal under the, the Act in terms of the members uh, having no lawful basis for entering a licensed premises to ensure adherence to the COVID-19 regulations. C could I make an appeal to you this afternoon here that consideration will be given to, by NIAC and by government in the context of members of Vanguardia Shikana to be fast-tracked for the vaccination for the third booster one? And I say so for a number of reasons. I spoke last Monday at the Joint Policing Committee in Cork City Council. And the reason I'm asking for this minister isn't to be populist, but members of Angarda Shikona at this time of the year now are expected to go in to licensed premises to ensure adherence to the COVID regulations, number one. Two, we're asking that there would be high visibility on our, on our high streets of members of Angarda Shikona at this peak Christmas time. And then thirdly, as part of their operation around drink and drug driving, they would be taking part in, in uh, checks uh, with motorists and they would be again engaging with people. So could I make an appeal to you that NIAC would, would, would allow for members of Angarda Shikana who are frontline workers uh, to be fast-tracked 
in the vaccination booster program. Um, yesterday, Minister, in the Transport Committee, of which I'm a member of, we had a very good debate uh, with a number of officials from across departments. Uh, and it is a source of concern uh, that, you know, 100 people arriving into Dublin have been referred to members of Angardi Shikona for, for breaches of, 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 of the, of, of the COVID-19 regulations. My, other que my question would be, what are, what are members of Angardi Shikona going to do having had the people refer to them. Uh, and I do believe there's a need now to explain to people their obligations under the COVID-19 regulations regarding travel, and also to explain to people what they need to do on entering, or before entering, and on entering Ireland. Um, my, my final remarks, Cahirik, are that We have no certainty with this virus. We can, and maybe Senator Gorgon is right, maybe we'll be back here again in June asking for this legislation to be extended. But what is the alternative? To allow people uh, to die? To allow people to have this herd immunity stroke appeal or uh, approach? I don't think that works. We've seen our nearest neighbours changing their policy again this morning. And on the order of business today, a number of members spoke about the, the, the imp import it could have in this country, in the north of our country, regarding the vaccine and the COVID cert, and I think we should stand up to that as well. But, Minister, the fundamental point you make here today is one that we should all rally to. Vaccination works. People should get vaccinated because it helps protect, preserve and save life, lives. And I know you can't force people, nor do we want to see a, 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 this become mandatory. But we do need to encourage people. And there's a part of me that, when listening to Morning Ireland this morning, when you heard that the two vaccination centres in Dublin were over capacity and they were turning people away, that it was great that this was the case because people were coming to get vaccinated. And I'll finish on this point. Could we look at the pharmacies and the pharmacists and our GPs and use them more in this vaccination programme because we've seen vaccination works. I wish you well, Minister. I thank you for being here and I thank you, Cahill, for your indulgence. Good morning. Thank you.